so today we will talk about how to create a spark effect through uh, Houdini by Resolver and also we will combine it and join it with uh, fire smoke and we will end up with this uh, quick and easy setup so this is the effect now we'll see how I went through it okay so we have here a light this that light we have a camera and this is uh, just a backdrop and here is the setup this is uh, where I was trying a couple of ideas but uh, ideas like this first we draw a line a curve we draw a curve on the grid and I make it on the Z and X plane then if you can view the light see it is not uh, spaced correctly so I did a resample and make it subdivision as curve not straight curve okay then if you look at the numbering I just made sure it is in sync so it's uh, okay so number zero is at the end because I reverse it okay and then I added the carve node so what the carve node will do from the first UV and the second UV so I animated the second UV as you can see here it's animated let me just remove the points and I am interested in this point, the last one that I am to, to use to uh, burn the sparks. So I added a group expression. This is the expression, and uh, this one will make sure I select the last point. So when I animate, I always have the last point. Then I blast everything except that point, so it's moving. I add a trail to calculate its velocity. So I inject it in the simulation, and I want it just for uh, 72 frames. After that, to disappear, because without it. Uh, the point will just stop and we will keep on emitting so after that I added a pop net and in the pop net I have the ground to collide with I have the pop object and the source and in the source I'm emitting points from the first context and I'm emitting for uh, half second with variation of half second and I am adding on the inherited velocity that we calculated through the trail sub and I'm giving it 8, uh, 8 points to velocity in Y and some random velocity so this is how it look chaotic like the spark spark usually would be chaotic okay. so after that let's just clean this one let's talk about the spark trail so particle trail this is the node so I connect it to the out and in the out I make sure only the bob is being imported out so this is the spark as a default you can play with the colors this is the look we have alpha we have the intensity and this is the color the gradient back to orange look here you can apply color set the gradient so this is how we did it okay 
also you can tweak the alpha also too many settings to play with and the split you can play with the split when it will be divided like small particles and the shape slip it per point how many points you want it to split you can also add some randomization when you press on this dice split velocity scale how far it will go away So you can play with the shape. See, it's a shutter. This is the difference. And this is the frame. So uh, the longer the flame, the longer the trail, like a slow shutter for the camera. And too many variation you can play with you can help you group out so this is the first part second part I time shifted so the smoke go behind the sparks because on top of it they will uh, mix so I just make it a little bit backward with three frames I scatter points on a circle that I copy to point so I'm taking the animation from the point this point see so it's following it following its animation that's the copy to point then I calculated the velocity and I make a central difference so we have velocity here we can view and then I created a bio source from the points for density and temperature then volume rasterize it uh, attribute for the velocity and temperature and density this is how it look we can velocity plot it also and make it very tiny In the bio solver So the density, the temperature, and the velocity. And we make the velocity very small. Let's make it 0.5 and see. Also, Beyonce, keep it one, give it 0.5, for instance, turbulence, and some wind, and wind is only one, and disturbance. And look, I only need the smoke. So here in the virus volume, I just did the smoke fire and others are out on the smoke so I make it say 15 go to the camera now the sparks I export them out and the other quick part is after the sort I just copy the curve and take it out so the sparks I just put it here alone and the line I did a sweep with the use of a circle so I ended up with this line that I can see can play with so when you, when you animate it will follow the point also automatically procedurally so if you in the play it and we see nothing because I didn't flag this one if I play it again this is the action the effect that we got maybe later on we can spread a grid here so the density can spread and create more smoke so 
so this is just a quick tutorial just to show how we can use the sparks here thank you very very much this is last look